The intensity only continues to ramp up as this series extends. Game three tonight here on the ice. James Sabalski here bringing you the play-by-play -play on EA Sports. We are about set to drop the puck as both centers make their way into the dock. This is what you play for. Moments like this, you can feel the energy in this building, and we are underway. And the puck's not loose. And that's kicked out from the scrum. Great poke check on the reach. And he slides and quickly to carry. Coachella Valley's got him along the wall. Hayden's going to play it from the back of the cage. Colorado's looking to break out. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Nice feed from the right wing. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Coachella Valley's got the puck. Quick pass to Hughes. Into the offensive Danger. zone down the right wing. Oh, here's it on net. Oh, he saved it. What a stop. Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and send a clear message to his team that he is behind and he's going to be the foundation tonight. And these fans are still buzzing about what we just saw. What a save that was, Sheriff. Yeah, he made an incredible save and really engaged this fan base. They're on their feet. You know they're right into the game. And listen, when they are showing you that kind of appreciation, you also want to play for them. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We're still scoreless. The Eagles win the draw. That goes off the twig. Pumped away from danger. Moves it quickly over to Melanson. Here we go, the again rush. And that's blocked in traffic. Sends a pass over. Puck scooped up by Booney. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Good heads up play to bat it down to the ice. Now a quick pass to Schumann. The Eagles move the puck in the defensive zone. And he takes the feed. Good defensive stop at the poke check. Works it across to Reinke. Inside the offensive and now down the left. Denied by the goaltender. Can't hang on after that hit. Back at the point, he's set it up. And that carries off a body in the lane. Colorado's got it in their own zone. With some open space at center. Coachella Valley's got a hold of the puck now. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Puts it on there. Takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Reaction time is so critical for goaltenders because the way the players shoot in this game today, man, it is so tough to stop. So this one, instincts. Glove goes up, makes the save. Coachella Valley's got it in their own zone. Pokes the puck away. Colorado's moving it into the offensive end. Sends it in deep. Colorado's gained possession along the boards. The Eagles have it now. Picked up along the wall by Smith. Off the left wing and into center. Colorado's got the puck in the corner. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Off his stick. Denies him on the one-timer. Oh, what reaction. Robertson's moving the puck through his own zone. Shot. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. And that goes off a body. The Firebirds have it now. Puck moved over to Henman. The Firebirds carry it along the wall. With the paddle save. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. More than half the period left to play. The game is still scoreless. Wright's won the draw. The Eagles take possession in the defensive end. Coachella Valley's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Moves the puck into the attacking area. The Eagles have it behind the cage. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Coachella Valley's got a hold of the puck. 
great read with the stick. Denies him in close. The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. Sends it quickly to Belanson. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. And now he moves it to Winterton. The Eagles have it from their own end. Into the offensive end now. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. And he maintains possession of the puck here. The Firebirds move it in. Devastating collision against the wall. The Firebirds get a hold of the puck along the boards. Quick pass to Hayden. Turns the puck over. Great read defensively there. The Eagles take it along the wall. feel good about himself and let the creativity flow. When we have a look at it, James, it looks like it's redirected and that's just beautiful timing and get the hands away from the body, be able to get it to go the opposite direction of the goaltender. Colorado's opportunistic game finally pays off as they have the game's first goal here in the back half of the frame. Uh, now it's about continuing to push, right? One goal simply isn't enough. You're at the back half of the first, which means there's over 40 minutes left to play in this game. they got to continue to execute if they want to wind up with a W at the end of this one. Moves it to the middle. Picked off in front. Coachella Valley's got the puck against the half wall. Great positioning in the defensive end. The Firebirds gain control of the puck. Here's a short pass to McKinnon. And the goaltender comes up on a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Moves the puck along the half wall. Shot! And that goes off a stick somewhere in traffic. Pumps it away. Excellent hand-eye coordination. With possession along the wall. The Eagles gain possession. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Here's a shot. Oh, a save. From the opposite point. Off a stick. Steps across the blue line. The Eagles get a hold of the puck in their own end. Tuff's got it in the defensive end. And he takes the dish. Taken along the wall by Tuff. Here's a shot. With the stop. Coachella Valley's got possession of the puck. Puck gets loose. We'll get some flow again here. Moves it around along the half wall. And that's snapped away in the defensive end by Wesley. He carries the puck up along the wing. Shot! Oh, makes a save! Just got enough to keep it out! Coachella Valley's playing it through center. And the puck leaves the zone. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Here in the late goings of the period, the Eagles lead it 1-0. The Firebirds win the faceoff. Takes a shot. Oh, what a bad save by Holm. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. Gets a foul on it. What a stop by Holm. Teams are ready for the draw. The linesman about to drop the puck. Coachella Valley's got it in the offensive zone. Puck battle along the boards. And some fancy footwork to kick it over to his teammate. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. Poked away in the defensive end. And now it's grabbed by Melanson. Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Well, fun start to this one as period number one comes to an end. We've still got lots more still in store. Kids are coming out on the ice here to play the little mini prospects game. And we'll be back with more in a moment. Back on the ice, both squads gliding into position for the start of 
period number two. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? Both goaltenders are the stars in this one, James. End-to-end -end action and multitude of chances on both sides. I mean, this has been an incredible game to watch. I'm surprised it's only 1-0. And with that, I believe that's his first career playoff goal. Well, it is, James, and it's going to feel pretty good because there's a lot of question marks around players who can't get it done in the playoffs, and he finds the back of the net. That's going to give him a big confidence boost to send him through the next game. The Firebirds have made this a whole new game in period number two. The difference in a close game is often the details, James, and this is a group that have worked hard. They've had good habits, and they find themselves tied. Colorado's come up with possession after that neutral zone draw. Sends the pass over. Puck grab by Hunt. Takes the feed. Takes control of the puck. Coachella Valley's got it in the offensive zone. Oh, not the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. And the puck skips off the glove. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Colorado's taking possession in their own end. The Eagles will play it in their own end. Devastating hit into the boards and listen to this building rattle. The Firebirds moving ahead. Oh, look at this. Here they come. They've got numbers. And there's the save. Both teams readying here for the face-off. Booties, quick stick off the draw, wins possession. Shedevin's taking it from his own end. Takes the shot, makes the save, and putting out the fire in front. Slides the puck across to Winterton. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Middleton. James, I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. Made the stop on the play. The Eagles are on the attack. Knocks the puck loose. Colorado's got a hold of it against the wall. Quick feed to Holland. Rips it. Big time one-timer stop. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. The face off, they take the puck. Rinky's lugging the puck. Carries it in. Puck picked up by Schultz. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Battle along the wall. Moves it to McKinnon. Scores! And the kid comes up clutch here in the postseason. Oh, he does it, James. Gets his first playoff goal. I mean, it's incredible the confidence that this should give him. I mean, the pressure and the stakes are high, and he delivers. Well, he gets the shot off the most coveted area on the ice, right in front of the paint, doesn't allow the goalie to get set up, and puts it home. The Firebirds, through their hard work and tenacity, have taken a one-goal lead here in the second. It's certainly better to play with the lead, James, but you know that there's a lot of one way left, and your opponent is going to come pushing and pressing. This game has been tight all the way around, and I expect that it will continue to be. Tuck's going to play it against the half wall. Oh, he got pummeled by Trigger. Goaltender covers up. we got a stoppage in play. Still lots of time left here in this frame. The Firebirds are hanging on to this one goal lead. They'd love to add another. Paderewski's won the draw here in the defensive zone. 
Moves it quickly over to Studenich. Centering feed! Can't connect the play. Picked up along the boards by Schultz. The Eagles gain possession in their own end. Colorado's got the puck in the defensive end. Knocked away by Studenich. The Firebirds gain possession along the wall. Makes his presence known on the ice. Coachella Valley's got the puck in their own end. Podorowski's into the offensive zone now on the attack. Quick pass to Tuck. Kiro stick handling in his own zone. The Eagles play it along the wing. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. And there's the whistle stopping the play. You're trailing by one and you take a penalty, not the way to get back in the game. Gives us our first chance to take a look at the team's power play unit. An opportunity on their first power play of the game, James. And this is an opportunity to look at the coverage as well, see how they're playing it, whether they're going to be aggressive or sit back. Nice job to escape the zone. The Firebirds have it against the wall. The Eagles get a hold of the puck in the open ice. The Firebirds have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Through center. And not much on that one. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Anytime you lose position on your opponent, this can happen. He gets the sticks out in the feet of his opponent, and guess what? He gets the tripping call. And on the heels of that call, we get ourselves a little four-on-four -on, -four on the ice. A few ways to play a four on four. You can sit back or you can be very aggressive on the puck. But you have to make sure that you're aware as well. But wait a second, James. I believe there's going to be a call right there. An infraction happens. We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. Not a great penalty to take. I mean, you're down a goal. You're trying to fight to get back in this game. And now you find yourself shorthanded. It's a four on three-man advantage looming here. Four on three can be so effective when you move the puck. You cannot be static. Motion is everything. Cuts to the point, and he wins the post. The goal is to the move. Scores! It's in the back of the net, and it comes from an unlikely source because that's his first career playoff goal. Well, he's been relentless, James, in this playoffs. And you know what? He's found a way to find the back of the net. That's going to be a huge confidence boost for himself and his teammates. Coachella Valley's now extended the lead to two goals here in period number two. Well, they came out flying, didn't they, James? I mean, they've been outstanding in all areas of the ice. They've pounced on loose pucks, and they've been able to take it to the net. Here's a short pass to Wesley. Hands on to the puck. And a strong physical collision on the play there. The Eagles look to start the transition game. Collins got it against the boards. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Schultz. Quick feed to Hughes. Great reach with the poke check by Middleton. The Eagles will play it from the defensive zone. The Firebirds' power play expires. They now go to work for a short period on the power play. And he turned that aside as we continue play here. Krieger has been solid here tonight, James. I mean, look at his save percentage. He's been excellent between the crease, and that's making the saves that you need to and you want to at the appropriate moment. And then his team's been effective going more. Denies the shooter on that play. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. Now you can see the coach looks skyward on that third call of the period. They know that they got to get back to even strength and get some kind of offense generating. James and that 1-3-1 setup where they look to work through the flanks because you know they've got some lethal shooters on this team. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. Moves it to Winterton. Scores! And they strike once again with the extra attacker. Wow, this has been a potent power play and two things you need. You need creativity but you also need structure and the players know exactly where they need to be to set up to work their magic around the perimeter and then open to attack the net. Go 
Coachella Valley's carried the puck like it's been on a string all night, Cheryl. Puck's been on their stick, and their opponent's been on their heels. They've just been worn down with the offensive zone possession time. And how about the goaltender? Seeing so much rubber tonight, and a lot in the netting. And puts the body into it, a little bumper car hockey. Burke's got the puck in his own zone. Into the middle! Coachella Valley's been effective all night long, and you can see the momentum just on the bench, the body language. Everyone's having a ton of fun there. All you have to do is look at the scoreboard and you see the smiles. Looking to set up offensively. And just got a piece of it to keep it out. And loses possession after a solid hit. Lays into the body on the play. Moves it quickly over to Smith. Oh, he's going to get cold on that slash. Takes the feed and center and moves up ahead. Here's a chance. Oh, what a save by Trigger. Here he is in front. And let's see what the call is. Olafson Stickworth will land him two minutes for slashing. get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. Well, first power play of the game, James. You want to start with possession and look to get shots to the net. It is the tone setter. Oh, and it gets in front of that to make a great save. Puck slid down the ice. Puck's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. Gets in front of it. Scores! And the rookie gets his first playoff goal. Well, it's so important to manage the expectation and the nerves when you're a rookie, and that goal is going to do nothing but give him confidence. Colorado's not out of the woods just yet, not by a long shot, but at least they've made it a game, Cheryl. They've made it a game, and they aren't out of the woods, but they can figure out a way to get out of them, and that's one shift at a time, and they can start right there with a the goal. Moves the puck. Quick pass to Kiro. Moves it in front. And he shuts down a great scoring pass there. And it banks off a stick in traffic. And the puck's booted away. Grabbed along the board by Kiro. Shuts it down with the paddle. What a stop. And this is a dialed in goaltender. Very aware. Knows where the shooter is in that low slot. And makes the save. Wright's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. The Eagles will go to work here in the offensive zone. Comes up with the stop. We're going to face off after the puck stays covered up. Collins ready to take the draw here on this power play. And they win the offensive zone face off, and here we go. Comes up with a big pass save to Bernard. I really like to save James because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Here in the late goings of the period, the Eagles are trying to get back into this one as they still trail by two goals. Gets a hold of the puck. The Eagles ready to go on the attack. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. And the puck is cleared to a silver spot. Coachella Valley's man is out of the box and we're back to even strength. Nothing like a strong PK to just elevate the team right from the bottom to the top of the roster. This takes hard work, and they certainly showed why they're on that unit. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Here's a short pass. Grabs the iron! Colorado starting to generate more chances. This is exactly what you want. When the game is close, you have to find a way to get it back to equal. This one goes off the pipe, but they can't get frustrated. Just continue to pump away and generate those opportunities. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Passes it to Middleton. Less than a minute to go here in the second. Coachella Valley's looking to break out of their own end. He's got a step. Great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. The Eagles have had more opportunities tonight, but at some point they need to start finishing here late in period number two. Hedman's won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. 
denies him with the pass. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. Robertson's going to the box for tripping. the horn bringing the second period to an end all right they say three is the magic number period number three is coming up next when your team wins you win ten dollars off at bob's bring tonight's ticket to any local bob's sporting goods for a coupon that's good for ten dollars off your next purchase of fifty dollars or more tickets must be redeemed within a week of the game Teams are lined up, and they are ready to get this third period underway. The Firebirds start with possession here as they open up shorthanded. Centering it across, and he denies that great opportunity there. Takes it to the net, and a huge stop by the goaltender at point-blank range. Another big face-off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. The Eagles get a hold of the puck in their own end. Sends it over to Middleton. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Moves it to the middle. And he'll hang on to it to regroup here for a moment. And that goes off a player in front. Stranger's got it, and I think there's a little strategy involved as he opts for the whistle. Oh, yeah, I think he needs a rest, but it's also about game management. Listen, the only reason why they're winning this game is because he has been electric and dynamic between the pipes. Hughes wins the draw on their own end. And they move the puck out of harm's way. Colorado's got a hold of it along the wall. Ten seconds Robertson the standing up, ready to go. And the lane's clogged up, blocking that. Coachella Valley's PK unit gets their man out of the box. Well, a PK can be put back on their heels, and I felt like this group was on their toes. They knew exactly how to protect this lead and really create some energy for their team. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. And some good footwork to kick it away. Coachella Valley's looking to break out. Quick feed to Carrick. And he moves the puck back inside his own end. Nice feed at center moves up ahead now. Coachella Valley's got the puck against the boards. Colorado's got a hold of the puck now. Puts it on net and makes the save. Moves it to Melanson. The Firebirds looking against the half wall. The Eagles move the puck in the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Foni. Moves it to Winterton. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. And he takes the feed. Quick pass to Ivan. Goes right to the crease. Too much traffic in the lane. And he slides it quickly to Studenich. Into the offensive zone. The Firebirds have it now. Huge stop on the one-timer. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, Coachella Valley's been the better club as they hold a 4-2 lead at this point. Nice job tying up his opponent. Goaltender covers up and will get a face-off. Both teams gliding into position and the official set to drop the puck. Coachella Valley's won the faceoff. Oh, what a blocker stop by Hall! Colorado's got it in their own zone. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. Moves it over to Podorowski. The Firebirds play along the boards. 
What a steal in his own end. Gaining steam here on the attack. To his teammate. Takes that pass back to the corner. And he gets a chunk of that to keep it out. Coachella Valley's got it in their own zone. Swap out. The Eagles get a hold of the puck along the boards. Here's a short pass to Holland. Big save. Stranger's got it, and he's going to hang on as we get a whistle. Well, he's been dialed in right from puck drop, and he has been under seas, James. Nice job to hold on to that puck. Now they can hit the reset button. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Sepala. Gaining momentum up along the side. And he makes a save there. got the puck now. Quick pass across to Holland. Shot! That's on the stick. Face off coming up as the puck goes up and over the glass. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And that tears off a body in traffic. The Firebirds have it now. Coachella Valley's in on the offensive attack now. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Hughes is such a creative player. If he sees an opening, you know he's going to take it. He's an aggressive style player. He tries to attack. But when he does it there, he loses the puck. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Coachella Valley's doubled up on them. It's now 4-2. The Eagles win the faceoff. The Firebirds take possession in the defensive end. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. The Eagles scoop it up along the boards. Directs it on over to Tuff. Pumps the boards through the neutral zone. Slides the puck down low. Oh, Smart heads that play to poke that one away. Takes it at center. Quick feed to Melanson. Oh, he stops him with the glove. Great reflexes there. Well, he makes an incredible save on a point-blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. Here in the back half of this period, the Firebirds lead it 4-2. The Eagles start with the puck in their own end. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. Claude save. He's on it tonight. Olofsson's moving the puck through his own zone. And he can't hang on after that hit. Takes it across the blue line. Poked away by Carrick. Back to the point it goes. Here's the shot. Tangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. Now he takes it over the line. Centering pass, and that's stopped. Oh, turns it aside once again. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well, and this time he gets in front of the puck. It's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Sends it in on the attack. Slides it over with pace to Ivan. Slides it to Foody. Knocked off the puck. Podorowski's got it in the defensive end. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Handles the puck from the left side. Oh! Makes the save! Oh, and this is a great save, James. The goaltender gets to the top of the streets, makes himself look huge, and is extremely aggressive to be able to make that stop. Late goings of this period, it's 4-2. Colorado's won it, now they'll go on the attack. Too many bodies in the way. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. And the defenders come up with the puck. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Stopped by the goaltender, getting a piece of that one. Rinky's picking up steam. Coachella Valley's on the attack. And he gets a glove on it to keep it at bay. 
That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice, and make himself as big as possible. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Hughes wins the faceoff in the offensive zone. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by home! A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Colorado's won the defensive zone draw. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Pass in front! Dishes it off again here! And he ups to backtrack here in the play. Here's a chance! And he's got that one. Coachella Valley's got a hold of the puck. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. He doesn't like the call, but it's the rest discretion, and he's going to the penalty box. Coachella Valley's got a huge opportunity on this power play. The power play's been extremely effective tonight, but the pressure is on at this critical juncture. You can't overthink it. You gotta want the puck. Continue to do what you're doing. Denied by the defender. Nice block. Dumps it into the Ozone. The Firebirds gain control of the puck. And it's a quick pass to Melanson. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. The Eagles will play it in their own end. The Firebirds gain control of the puck against the wall. The Eagles cross the line and gain the zone. Just one been able to generate a ton of scoring chances tonight, just not capitalize with that missed shot. They need to hit the net. They need to find a way to execute if they want to get back in this one. Moves it to Paré. The Eagles penalty killers come up huge. The PK really hasn't been strong, and they looked rattled early in the game, but they seem, seem to have found their feet here, and good habits always come out on the other side. Good job by them. but this one goes in. The extra attacker comes on with the goalie out of the net. They have the advantage and they use it perfectly. They're all over the ice. They're all over the puck. Coverage is running and they bury it. The Eagles have had more scoring chances and yet they trail late in this third period. teams have another big opportunity to deliver here. Ivan's won the faceoff. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Final buzzer sounds and this one's in the books. A strong team effort tonight leads them to victory, and they take a 2-1 series lead. Well, that's a huge win to get the 2-1 lead, but even more critical is the next game, James. With that 2-1 lead, that game can mean the series tied, or they have a two-game lead. And you know what happens when you got two-game lead. Your opponent starts tightening their sticks because they are behind the eight ball. So it's all about pressure now and seeing if they can continue to respond. From all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Savolsky. Thanks so much for joining us here this evening. The playoffs roll on, and we will see you then next time.